Oh, I got a Red Bull. Either. Three, I'm trying to stay up. One, go. Honestly, Sam, I'm 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 tired, man. <laughs> All right. Anyways, let's get back into it. S two H versus Key. Starting on an Alpha on FD. This stage definitely benefits both. Meta Knight has so much room to do his ladder combos, but Stank has so much room to make explosions happen. <laughs> you actually saw this matchup last night over at MSM where um, S2H beat BMC pretty convincingly. Honestly, mm -hmm. just getting a great ladder over him. It worked out really well. Looking like a great ladder from a, from a distance as well. <laughs> <laughs> right now, not a, not a lot of big hits coming in. Just going back and forth, but he is in the lead because that's the nature of grenades. Yeah. Shows the difference in playstyle, right, between BMC and Key. Key knows that SOH is waiting for the opportunity to come in, deal the damage, but Key knows if I if I have the ground protected with bombs, grenades, C4, if I key my game plan solid, I can stop him from coming on the ground and getting a possible ladder. And yeah, it, the the beauty of Snake is how many different playstyles you can have. We're, oh, we're, uh, oh, okay. where BMC will focus more on his setups and like, I want to put you in this situation, put all these setups, and then make this really difficult for you. Key will rely a little bit less on the setups and then go for the neutral too. He'll put himself in there. Yeah. But again, not not to discredit BMC, he's still a very good player too. Oh yeah, hands down. I mean, shout outs to him, dude. He made Pac-Man for a long time. He made it work. He made it work, and he was like, you know what, I'm, I'm Snake, man. If I main Pac-Man, I can definitely main Snake. I don't oh, oh, that killed. Oh, yeah, you saw him combo. jump air dodge onto the stage and he ended up catching the grenade. I don't know if that was his plan, but yikes. Yeah, <laughs> up air right there, we're gonna get caught by the grenade. That's gonna be a problem. If these uh, if these ladder setups aren't frame tight, uh, Key's just gonna throw a grenade out there and then you're just gonna end up hurting yourself. Not even that, like, he feels that SH is becoming really aggressive. Gra uh, you can just go, go for a grenade, hold shield. Or even just get a ladder with a grenade too, it'll be tough. See what I'm saying? He sees the aggression, holds grenade, holds shield, but up smash for S2H. Not too difficult percent there, 53. S2H kind of picking his time here, gets the up air. Key now moving in. That's one of the things you said, right? He's not afraid to move himself into the neutral and start working on different percents. Getting jabs, looking for setups here. Right now, Key just setting up the wall. He doesn't have to walk over there. I know what you can do. Leave me alone. Oh, here we go, though. Oh, this is the opener. Uh, Snake, Nair. such a good weight there for that ladder. <laughs> he, oh, went, he went right into the C4. <laughs> right into my trap. Well, let's think about FD, right? Like, the stage actually has a glowing red background. I'm sorry, stage itself. And unfortunately, the C4 also has a glowing red light. Oh, didn't get oh, the right no. hit. Uh, unfortunate SD. Yeah, and the only time you could really, like, know when the C4 is out is when it's in that middle right there. Exactly. And every now and then, like, he will purposely actually um, trigger it to get rid of it to get different. Uh, different have, um, I'm so sorry. Blues have a different set with C4. Up air, uh, up B, not gonna take it just yet. Snake, like we said, he he, he ain't no scrawny guy. No. Oh, oh, great back. Oh, that back air. Yeah, he's scouting that one out. He knew he wanted to go for that landing at that point. A lot of things you see snakes do is that directional air dodge because it's so good for catching the, the ledge, but there still is a bit of a couple of frames where you can oh, hit him. Okay, he makes the recovery here. Cypher. Cypher getting hit him. Again, uh, uh, Key just going back to setting up these uh, grenades. The only problem with that is if. Uh, if Key starts going for these grenade setups and he drops both grenades, that's the time when S Twitch can go in because then he can't grenade out of something. Yeah. Well, that's just that's such a small window that you have to do uh, get that for. Ooh, I'm scouting out the. Uh, oh, it's a big back. ladder for S Twitch. Not big enough though. Yeah. Problem with that was the way he was up airing him. It was so low to the ground that even if he got all six up airs, it wouldn't have killed. It just would have been damaged, which it's still good. He it ended up getting him the lead. Yeah. You know, damage is damage. Scouting out that dash deck again. One of Snake's uh, favorite moves, because it is, in fact, invincible at the arms and head. Yeah. Also has a low. Oh! Ah, oh, that was so good. CS to H going down there for Nair's a lot. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, SOH definitely not a stranger to going off stage to get to get the edge guard, especially with Mennonite using all those jumps. SOH knows, like, hey, 
My character has the tools to go for multiple jumps off stage, on stage. I need to use them to their max capacity, especially to stop Snake from coming back on the stage. And at that point, you know, we saw he wasn't afraid to be off stage. Try to go in deep to catch key. Back to a different FD. Go into a, a Mega Wily. You're gonna have that wall right there. Oh wait, no, never mind. I forgot. New game. How does it say that? What? What wall? I forgot, man. Last time I saw this stage was in Smash Four. Same. I want to say also these are the stage to play C4. I mean. Okay, using that same recover there. S Wish not stopping at this time and key going for the Stairmaster. Of course, down there is known as the Stairmaster. Those of you wondering why I call that. That's the proper term. No, okay. it's a good it's a good term. You, you gotta climb the stairs on them. Yeah. I don't feel like he's stomping on at that point, dude. Yeah, you're right. Right now these nairs are so, so, I was gonna say like stomping some grapes. <laughs> at the vineyard, man, not the valley. Oh, okay. scouting out that roll. That's the one thing S2H get so much. He'll get these roll reads with these uh, F-Smash, and he's really good at conditioning that. Uh, I'm surprised he went for the back there right there, because the uh, up smash with that, he died. He did. Uh, uh, I respect it. He tried to go for a kind of, some kind of... He wanted to get an aggressive option to come back on the stage, so have s hold shield, get safe passes to it, but unfortunately, s was not going to go off stage, and he knows the minute that he commits to that option, he was going to have to wait a little while for that time to come back into action. I uh I love when Snake grabs Meta Knight because it like kind of elongates his body. I was and it gonna just say so you, you just saw it too. Yeah, it's the same happens with like Kirby and uh, Jigglypuff. Oh, it's a quick jab block. Oh, oh big I, I like this. And he gets the aggression there off the stage, but he that was so smart. He nearly escaping death. He pulling on all the stops here just to take away the stock from Master H. If Master H is gonna go, is gonna get him. He is gonna, not gonna go down without a fight. Definitely trying to put out as many, uh, oh, another jab block, quick dash tag. This oh, might be the, nope, falls out there. Not going to read the, oh, oh I, I like the idea. You got to, you got to make comebacks happen sometime. And that was a really good idea. If he double jumped, I feel like that might have hit. Yeah. He was so close to it, dude. He was like really like right there, unfortunately, though. Oh, there's a decent ladder here. That's not going to do it, though, but S-Wage gets the stage. s looking really proud to take this right now. But like you said, he's not going to go out without a fight. He knows one mistake and he can put so much damage on S2H. Yeah. It's the setup here and how he's moving in with grenades here, but S2H finally gets that neutral air. I like that he goes for the grenade just to secure a little bit of time to come back on the stage, and S2H was waiting for that air dodge. He's going for the back throw off stage. I, uh, now that I look at it, I feel like up smash from Snake is going to be a really good, would be a really good way of edge guarding Meta Knight instead of going for the Nikita. The Nikita could lose, like, the multi hit of Drill Rush. Where uh, up smash that motor when you send it and put it off stage, it'll hit and it'll put you in that distance. Wow, that was so good. Yeah. Oh he, wow. He kind of saw that he was really high up in the air and he knew like, hey, if you're gonna come to me, I might as well take the advantage. <laughs> yeah, gets up to S two H. But yeah, unfortunate SD coming out from key. Probably not happy about that. But S two H definitely he he was looking really dominating. Yeah. He's familiar with the character S two H, kind of a legend in brawl. He was uh, pretty popular in all. Not, I'm gonna say pretty popular, but he was, you know, started out in all his brawl, mm -hmm. played the game brawl. So he's kind of familiar with how Snake works. That's the thing all about some of the brawl veterans. There, they are they're very familiar with how some certain characters work because they kind of more a little bit nerfed from their brawl version, but they're still relatively the same. Snake, one of those characters, kind of the same from brawl. Up tilt doesn't have that.